back to our broadcast talks. My name is Eduardo. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm helping in the warehouse um, and we've got two very interesting and complex machines, uh, N plus one systems. Uh, one is a four plus one system and the other is a five plus one system. Uh, so we'd like to show uh, both machines to you and explain a bit how they work and uh, just show it to you. We hope you'll enjoy the video. If you like our content, give us a like and subscribe, which will help us very much. Uh, so let's start. So this is our N plus one system, it's a five plus one. This is the switch over logic. This is the audio matrix. And as you can see, it has one machine in reserve. And these are the five operating machines 300 watt and 100 watt now we're going to show you how it will switch over when one of the five machines stops working so we switch off TX2 TX2 is off And now, as you can see, it's switching automatically to the reserve transmitter. Now the reserve transmitter is fully operational, substituting TX2, which is off. to show you uh, the machine from the back a bit of the connections and how it works um, so as you can see the audio matrix is there um, as you can see the cables run through there and then from the audio matrix both the left and right stereo audio input as well as the MPX in are connected to each transmitter so to the reserve transmitter as well as the other five operational transmitters let me show you from the front This is the front of the audio matrix. As you can see, left and right for transmitter one, left and right for transmitter two, for transmitter three, four, five, as well as the reserve transmitter. And these are the MPX. From there, they connect to each transmitter so when there's a switch over the audio also automatically switches from the TX that stops functioning automatically switches to the reserve transmitter uh, we have left spaces here I'll show you from the front as well all these spaces here that you see are for the RDS signal um, and that from the audio matrix 
is also automatically switched uh, to the reserve transmitter when there's an automatic switch over. Lastly, I'd just like to show you, as you can see, each transmitter has this RF out connector and cable, which is then connected to one of the relays. As you can see, there are five, one relay for each tr transmitter, and the relay is the one that allows the switch to happen. So when there's an automatic switch over, the relay, for example, this is relay one for transmitter one. If transmitter one has to switch, the relay will switch here. So this will go all the way here, meaning it has switched. So as you can see, RF out for each transmitter, then goes into each relay for the changeover to happen. plus one system as you can see it's got a reserve transmitter and four operational transmitters uh, this is the automatic switch over logic this is the reserve transmitter which is a 1000 baht and the four operational transmitters 1000 1000 1000 and the last one is a 500 baht so that's it for today we hope you have enjoyed uh, the video and that it's useful to you and we'll see you next time. Bye!